Today, I am pleased to report that 6,218 Albertans have recovered from COVID-19, leaving 612 active cases in the province. Currently, 55 people are hospitalized with COVID-19, with four of these in ICUs. In the last 24 hours, out of 3,754 new tests, there were 22 new cases. I am pleased to say that there are no new deaths today, and in today's outbreak web posting, several outbreaks have now ended, including the Horizon Work Camp and Manoir du Lac. I want to acknowledge the work of local teams in stopping spread in these outbreaks, and in particular, want to note that using lessons learned from Curl Lake and with significant effort from the company, the Horizon Work Camp outbreak was kept to only five cases. With today's test results, we have now surpassed 250,000 COVID tests in Alberta. This is a remarkable achievement and a testament to the tireless efforts of our public health system, from our lab technicians and contact tracers, to the public health nurses and those working at assessment centres. Strategic testing is essential to Alberta's relaunch. Over the past couple of weeks, our daily volume has ranged between 2,000 and 4,000 tests per day. We have the capacity to do more, and in preparation for stage two of our relaunch, now is an opportune time to expand testing to get a full understanding of the presence of COVID-19 in our population. This is why, effective immediately, we are expanding testing to include anyone in Alberta, whether they have COVID-19 symptoms or not. This will help provide data to further understand the impacts of moving to stage two of Alberta's relaunch strategy. Expanded testing will also help us understand where there might be undetected positive cases and therefore prevent further spread of the virus. If you were worried that you might have been exposed to COVID-19, even if you were feeling well and aren't showing symptoms, I encourage you to arrange for testing by completing the online assessment tool to book your appointment online. This can happen in Calgary immediately and next week this booking appointments online will be live across the province. No matter where you live, you can go online, effective today, to arrange for an appointment for testing. Please be patient as Alberta Health Service implements this province-wide asymptomatic testing. Everyone who wants a test will be able to access one, but priority will continue to be given to symptomatic individuals and close contacts of known COVID cases. As we continue through relaunch, we must remember the virus is still with us and we must still prevent the spread. As businesses and facilities continue to reopen, we must continue to prioritize the health of the most vulnerable of our community members. This includes Calgary and Brooks, where Albertans in these two cities have been patient as we took a measured, phased approach to the first stage of their relaunch. Because taking this extra time allowed us to monitor any spread from ongoing, from opening businesses and other stage one activities in Calgary and Brooks, where baseline rates were higher when we began stage one. I would like to congratulate residents of these cities on the downward trend in their numbers, which has not been seen in most places around the world where relaunch has happened. I am pleased to say that thanks to these numbers, the final stage of phase one will begin in these cities on Monday. This means day camps and summer schools may open with occupancy limits and places of worship may resume in-person services greater than 15 people with precautions to limit the potential spread of infection. Public health orders limit occupancy at places of worship to one third of the building's capacity to a maximum of no more than 50 people based on lessons learned from outbreaks in faith communities in Alberta and around the world. Faith leaders must take steps to prevent the risk of transmission among staff, volunteers and members of the public who enter their space. Expanded guidance for places of worship is available on our BizConnect website. I also committed to posting guidance for organized outdoor sports and recreation applicable for stage one across the province. I know many people are eager to get outside with their teammates and play their favorite sport. But organized sports events, games and leagues present a high risk of transmission and are not yet permitted in stage one. Non-contact outdoor activities can proceed 
with measures in place to limit the spread of the risk of transmission. Examples of such activities are running in physically distanced groups, singles tennis, and badminton or skateboarding. Activities like soccer, football, or martial arts are not permitted in stage one unless organizers can modify practicing the components of these activities to meet public health orders and physical distancing requirements, such as a focus on individual drills rather than on team play. So the date of the stage two is something that will be discussed next week, and so a final decision has not yet been made. I've said before that given the, the low new case numbers that we've been seeing, the really encouraging results from our stage one relaunch, uh, that we are considering whether or not we can advance the date of stage two, but again, a final decision won't be made until next week. Uh, with respect to the hospitalizations, there has been an increase in the last few days. Hospitalizations are a function not only of our total cases, but also of who it is that is exposed and is infected with the virus. So those who are older, who have uh, medical conditions, are at higher risk of having more severe illness and needing hospital care. It's something that we're watching very closely. Uh, but at this point, we haven't seen uh, an uptick in our total number of cases. And we'll continue to watch both total cases and hospitalizations closely. But at this point, uh, I don't anticipate that this, what's happened in the last few days, would change our discussions regarding relaunch.